Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Aaron from uh, iCreateGFX.com. Uh, it's my first tutorial, and I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to make this uh, mixtape cover. Okay, it's a pretty common theme that I see, so uh, let's just get let's just get into it. All right, so we're going to start out by making a new document. Um, I'm going to make this 600. By 600 pixels, 72 resolution RGB. Okay, and let's let's name it um uh tutorial cover. All right, hit OK. So the first thing you want to do is you want to fill. Your background with a solid color art, and I hope you guys know the basics of Photoshop because I don't want to make it too simplistic. It should be pretty straightforward. So you want to fill this. You can fill with any color you want, but I'm going to use gray. So let's come over here. And, uh, looks pretty good. I want to fill it. I'm gonna make a new layer on top of that. Get your brush tool. You can push uh, the B on your uh, keyboard to bring up your, br your uh, brush palette. And you want to grab your uh, your basic uh, soft brush right here. Okay. Make sure the hardness is all the way on zero. And I'm going to use the bracket keys to uh, adjust the size. We're going to make it 600. And we're going to make the color over here. We're going to make the color white. And you just come in the middle here and click two times. All right, that'll give us a nice little glow, kind of a gradient like background. And that's what you do for that. Okay, now you can start bringing in your renders. I'm gonna get them in the right position. That's about good. So what you want to do? Some of these pictures are already pretty have good. Um, they have pretty good contrast. So what you want to do is on the Chris Brown layer. Matter of fact, let me do this first. Let me uh, copy everything. Select all your. Uh, your renders or your cutouts select them all drag them down to your uh, this button right here is new layer button that to copy everything okay you can hide these. these these are just here just in case you mess up and you need to go back to the original uh, document so for Chris Brown what we're gonna do since he's kind of um, desaturated we're going to kind of give them some color and um, make the shadows and lights come out a little more so we're going to add a level you can hit control L I think on the Mac is a uh, command L I'm on, I'm on a PC I'm going to boost it up just a tad let's see I think 20 is pretty good and bring this down Uh, can actually bring now just a just a tad bit. Hit OK. Um, now you want to do is add hue saturation. You come down to this white and black button here, 
and click hue saturation now before you actually change it what you want to do to just apply it to Chris Brown's layer what you want to do is you want to come over here hold down the alt key and you see this little icon to come up all you do is click that when that icon comes up just click and so that whatever you do here it only apply to him it won't apply to the, the other renders all right so I'm gonna bring this up to about uh let's see about 30 let's see how that looks I think 30 you could bring it up a little more about 33 you want to get it just right so it doesn't overpower it and make it look not that good so alright so now what you want to do is start blending it together well, I'm gonna make this over here black and white you can do that by hitting the D on your keyboard and come back down to this uh, black and white button here add a gradient map and you want to set the blending mode to luminosity and you want to drop the opacity down to about 50 percent but always play around because this is every every design is different so you got to play around with it with the opacities and blending modes and kind of see what effect you get and if it looks good you know trust your eye that you know whatever you do looks 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 hot want to add another one but we're going to choose a different well let's see how this looks just black and white again that's pretty good so we just basically doubled it now let's add a photo filter go back down to this button photo filter come down to your filter drop down uh, arrow and you want to click cooling filter that gives it a nice a nice blue tint and you can leave it on normal the blending option and you can change the opacity to about uh let's see uh, I think 35 looks good all right now let's add some shadows so basically let's start with the uh, the girl on, on the left let's see I'm going to go down to one of your renders I'm going to use this one right here I'm going to duplicate it go to the bottom one the original one and you want to free transform you do that you, you, Make sure the layer is, is um, highlighted. You hit Control T. Okay. You come down to the top here and just drag it till about till it looks pretty good. About right, about right here. <clears throat> you want to select it. You you hold down Control uh, Command Command on the Mac control and click this little window right here that is selected with the little dots going around and you want to fill that with black so since my uh, I think this is my foreground it's already black I just hit alt backspace and I'm going to fill it with black deselect still on this layer in your shadow layer come up to filter blur Gaussian blur and your radius like I said play around with it uh, I'm gonna put mines on 4.5 hit ok <clears throat> while still on this layer come up to opacity 